Yeah, hi. Oh, lady, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I'm actually, by the way, I'm doing this video before fucking the whole Drew McIntyre sucks video, the fucking 100 reasons. I'm gonna upload this video after, so. But I just feel like I wanna make this video since I'm like, it's fresh off my mind. And like, maybe there's something to help the motherfucker or help fucking dirty realize what they gotta do now if they're gonna fucking push this guy. Because again, it seems like apparently, you know, people see something in this guy, especially like sm anti smarty wrestlers. I get it. The guy is not fucking, you know, he's not vanilla midget. But the thing is, like, there's gotta be something more to this guy, you know? At least with Reigns, he was cool. He came off the shield. The guy was cool. He was a badass. You know, oh, he was playing. He had the idea he was mowing and shit, but he was a badass. The guy could actually, you know, he was doing badass shit. But then fucking, yes, I would admit that he ruined him and crap with just fucking doing stuff, fucking nursery rhymes and fucking just, oh, I'm from Samoa. And then fucking just, you know, having to do dog shit. And just kind of ruined the whole idea with Rollins fucking cashing in and fucking just we had to endure fucking Rollins being champion, which was the worst tower ring for God's sakes and crap. But anyways, um, what I would say since again... Okay, so because like I'm like one of the dudes out there who doesn't who's not a big fan of McIntyre, I will admit this: the guy, if you try to fucking do something with this dude, this guy could could have some promise. He already has the idea that you know he has the look. Yeah, sure. You know he's big and crap, but the thing is, it's more to that motherfucker. You gotta make the guy entertaining, and that's first of all. First off, we gotta do. We gotta make this guy fucking entertaining. You know. You gotta fucking make the dude fucking absolutely entertaining. Actually entertain everybody. Not just fucking weirdos. You know what I mean? He's already anti- He already is a fucking smart delight, you know? Sure, but you know, apparently anti smarts are giving this guy a chance. I understand, like, oh, he's the best option. That's why it's better for him to win. But the thing is, that's just what- That's the problem. He's- The, the fact that he's- the sadly, like, one of the best options, which honestly, I, I disagree. Like, aside from, let's say, like- the return of Edge or fucking even Reigns for fuck's sake. You know, I'm again, don't get me wrong, I understand like why Reigns should probably have one, because guys his older fucking Sparky fans will keep turning their fucking backs on fucking W and crap and keep fucking hating Reigns and shit. You know, I get it. But for God's sakes, my problem is that you they weren't really bullying him up. They were having him lose some fucking jobbers and shit. You know what I mean? If you actually also establish a character with this dude, maybe this guy would be something credible. And here's the thing, this all fucking start, the, pro the problem when you start with McIntyre is that for God's sakes that you have him fucking, when he comes to the main roster for fuck's sakes. Okay, sure, he started off in NXT, he returned to NXT. You know, you know, trying to do whatever the fuck, he wrestled with fucking Russell. Like, okay, I didn't really hate him at NXT, but I just think, you know, I think you a fuck. That's the thing. Because you, oh, he just, oh, I'm Scottish. Okay, you're Scottish. I don't care. You know what I mean? Okay, so what else? You're, you're Scottish, okay? And you're just literally a guy like, Oh, I've been chosen one! I'm back! I come back from TNA, I took a dick something pooper, and I'm gonna fucking come back because I'm the chosen one or something. I don't fucking know. He gotta stop... First of all, he gotta stop playing the fucking ID that he's the chosen one, even though he hasn't fucking said he's the chosen one. But fucking Sparks have, keep saying, Oh, he's the chosen one! The prophecy's coming true! You gotta get off that idea, man. You gotta fucking stop with that fucking idea of the chosen one and shit. Cause that shit wouldn't fucking work. Okay? Especially what fucking McIntyre back then. That wouldn't really ever work. So now, yeah, he's he's more muscular and shit. But the goddamn is, like, you know, people say, like, oh, we hate, you know, we hate fucking uh, muscle marks. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers. Y'all like McIntyre. He's, like, not even fucking, like, that entertaining besides him having muscle and shit. Like, again, here's the thing. The idea what fucking anti smarts would fucking agree with is they want guys who actually have characters and shit. That they, that's what McIntyre lacks. You know? Oh, he's big. Okay, sure. But for God's sake, like, what else that he's big? You know, everybody fucking in the ad era were actually in shape. Hardcore Holly was, like, in shape for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know? Fucking who else? Um, even in the Golden Age, Zid Vicious. You know? He was not even entertaining and he was big. You know what I mean? Those are examples of not really, like, Good wrestlers, you know, that are actually entertaining and shit. But, like, fucking McIntyre is fine. But here's the... But, okay, we're trying to help McIntyre. And I'm trying to fucking understand what you guys see in this dude. Or I'm trying to help this dude fucking actually entertain so I can fucking like him, too. Um, yeah. You gotta make him entertaining. You gotta actually give him an actual character. 
I don't even know what the fuck his character is. Oh, he's the he's the he's Scottish. Okay, what's the, how is that different from let's say I'm from Samoa, from Roman Reigns? He oh I'm Samoan. Okay, you know, like oh I'm, he's the Scottish guy. So I am Scottish. I I I take dicks off the poop and I got fucking like, fish and chips in the, the hati. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um. Unless, or, or fucking, you, you, sure, you can play off that he's, man, everybody's fucking international. Fucking Seamus is Irish, fucking Reigns is Samoan, fucking goddamn, who else is fucking, too many fu uh, Nakamura's Japanese, too many fucking goddamn, we're international, ladies and gentlemen, my lord. But goddamn, goddamn, it's like everybody's, good, their characters that they're fucking from, they're international and shit, even though Reigns is not international, but hey, whatever. But like you say, oh, I'm from Samoa, I don't fucking know. I guess, you know, if you want to do something, sure, you can have him like, oh, he's Scottish or something. But for guys, you gotta make something out of it. Maybe he could be like, oh, he's the Scottish badass or something. You gotta have to make him like a fucking, I don't know, something like he's a Scottish badass. He takes shit from nobody. I don't know. We had to establish that. You have, the fact, you could do something like that. You have to establish that he doesn't take shit from anybody, you know. Maybe make him close to, like, what was good of the ad chair. Like, how the older wrestlers were, like, fucking badass and shit. You could try to make him more like that. All the top fucking wrestlers from the ad chair. You gotta make him fucking, like, a badass. Actual fucking badass. An actual fucking, you know, legit character. Okay? You cannot have him lose to fucking midgets. Okay? The fact that you had him, when he returned... You had him lose to fucking... First of all, you already ruined the guy when he fucking debuted on Raw again and having fucking team up with fucking Ziggler. You already ruined the dude. Because for guys, he had to be with a fucking gay motherfucker. Which made him gay. So that's the fucking problem. Don't have him do gay shit. Don't do gay shit with the fucking dude. You know what I mean? Don't have him interact with gay fucking wrestlers doing unentertaining crap. Because that fucking ruins him. Stop with the gay shit. Don't have him fucking have. Don't have him fucking goddamn just. Yeah, don't have him team up with shitty wrestlers. Don't have him align himself with shitty wrestlers. Don't just don't do shit with him, okay? Don't do fucking garbage. Don't have him lose to midgets too. You had him lose to fucking Ricochet, Cedric Alexander for fuck's sake, Ziggler also, even Finn Balor. That ruins the fucker, you know? It always was bad enough the guy was in three MB, okay? And then, like, for guys, like, guess what? Here's the thing. Honestly, I see no difference with fucking McIntyre than Jinder Mahal. I think people are hypocrites that the fact they're just saying that, oh, McIntyre is better than Jinder Mahal. Like, what fucking difference is? Jinder Mahal is just as big, even though he's fucking on steroids and fucking has gyno for fuck's sakes. Well, it's fucking different than McIntyre. Sure, he's big, but that's it. You know what I mean? Like, God, like, here's another thing. You gotta make this guy actually fucking... Charismatic. I guess you could say, oh, he he has natural charisma because like he's big and shit. For God's sake, it's got to be more than that. I would believe that if he didn't lose to fucking midgets. But the thing is, you haven't lose to fucking goddamn retards and crap, and you weren't really pushing. For God's sake, if you were gonna fucking actually push this dude, I guess there was some promise. Like even though I didn't give a fuck about McIntyre, there was some promise since last year WrestleMania. Sure, he lost the range and shit, but for, and he was alliance with fucking Ma um, fucking McMahon. If you actually were to push this dude, then for God's sake, why you had to lose to jobbers? Sure, you know what? Maybe he should have been the one won, that won King of the Ring then. If you were actually going to push this dude, maybe he should have been the one that won King, King of the Ring. The guy should have not lost fucking midgets. The guy should have actually been built up to this fucking moment. And you know what? I would like, you know what? Maybe he is, maybe it is his time. You know what? Maybe I do agree. Maybe he is the best option as people claim he is. But the thing is, the fu the fucking problem, you had to lose to jobbers. That is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. That's what makes ruins my disbelief that this guy is credible to fucking face Lesnar for fuck's sakes. He's going to face Lesnar for fuck's sakes. And this guy is credible to fucking face him. The same dude from 3MB. And for God's sake, that lost to midgets. So that just means like what? Ricochet could be fucking Lesnar? And that's, unfortunately, that's the fucking problem with the WWE title now. The fucking fact that you established that Jinder Mahal could win the fucking WWE title. That means anybody could win. And that's why, that's why you had Kofi Kingston won. Especially with this out of nowhere push. That's what this, this push also f feels like. It's out of nowhere. If you were pushing, like, oh, they were pushing since the beginning of Raw. Yeah, you haven't, like, in... 
Okay, like that, that's that, that's too soon, you know. And plus, you had him fucking getting RKO by Orton and shit. You having him getting beat up by midgets, like fucking goddamn or fucking goddamn Styles and shit. I don't hate Styles, but you know it's whatever. Um, and you'll see him having getting beat up by like, whatever. But the thing is, you gotta actually do something. And he, yeah, but yeah, I would say yeah, establish a, a natural character with this dude. You know, sure, make him if he's gonna be Scottish, like like every fucking. Fucking people's like, oh, I'm, I'm Irish. You get the joke, fella. I don't, I don't fucking know. Or fucking stupid shit. That like, fucking everybody's at the national. Like, okay, he's Scottish. I don't know, Scottish badass. Make him more like what I guess what Batista was back in the day. Somebody like who was cool. You know, make it actually make him cool. Do badass shit. Oh, here's another thing. You actually have him, gotta have him do cool wrestling moves. I don't even know what the fuck his moves is. I don't even know if he's even a great wrestler because I don't give a fuck about his matches. That's the thing. You gotta make us care about his matches. And you can do that by, of course, establishing character with this dude. Actually make him entertaining. He's another thing too. Actually make him funny. If you are gonna, if you want this dude to actually have him be entertaining, I guess do some funny shit with the dude. Don't have him do some gay shit. Actual funny shit. Also, here's another thing. Do not have him fucking say the one... Two, three, because that's G-rated as fuck. Apparently, that was like one of the reasons. Though. Oh, th that's how McIntyre is getting over. No, that's G-rated as fuck. One, two, three, that's G-rated. Okay, um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's fucking G-rated. That is gay. Don't have him do that shit. Actually fucking do it. Because if you want to have stop that he's a badass, then have him do that shit. Just fucking kick the dude. Also, that's his problem. Why is this? His fucking finisher is a kick. Everybody's fucking finisher is a fucking kick. Why is that? If you want this guy, like, he can do that as, like, a secondary finisher, but if you want to actually give this guy a credible finisher, just give him back to Future Shock DDT. Even though he's actually doing it, I would say that's good. But, you know, yeah, I guess both finishers is fine, but don't have to have him do, uh, oh, he just, one, two, like, no, it's gay. Um, what else? Uh, fucking, yeah, actually have him do c cool moves, you know? Badass moves like fucking actually doing wrestling moves. He, but here's the thing if he's gonna be a main eventer Then he has to have the five moves of doom shit because here's the thing people don't realize the five moves of doom is a wrestling thing It is a fucking top star wrestling thing and honestly, it's not a problem Okay, it's not a fucking problem if the guy like people crap on Cena But the thing is that's what happens when you're a fucking gonna be a top wrestler, but the thing is sure Cena's fucking five moves of doom are not even cool Thing is, when you fucking think of guys like Stone Cold, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and fucking even guys like Goldberg, Batista, you know, guys like them, they had like close to five moves. Goldberg had like two moves, and guess what? They were fine. My problem again, like yes, these fucking midgets, they don't even do wrestling moves. But at least the, these guys, they have potential. Like they they did wrestling moves, even though it's not like every fucking match. Like when it comes to let's say every match, like say is a squash match, it would be those moves. But then it's a longer match than to do the occasional suplexes or, you know, or other moves and shit. That's why I think, like, you know, if you're going to do, like, what you're going to do with McIntyre, you're going to become a fucking main eventer. You have to actually establish these guys doing moves as five moves of doom and shit, whatever the fuck. And, yeah, when there's, like, a longer match, when she's not in, like, a squash match, and, yeah, have him do, like, cool fucking moves and shit. You know, like, suplexing and crap. And I think he could, and you know what? He has potential to do that. Um, not just that. Yeah, I would say that, and... Yeah, I guess that's what I have to say about in terms of moves. When he's gonna fake fucking what else? I want to fucking say something too. Um, yeah. Um, actually, be entertaining. You know, like I said, fucking character. Fucking he, he has like yes, he has the look. But he has to uh, fucking fix on everything to face his fucking problems. Yes, just have him not lose the midgets, please. Don't have him fucking. You're gonna try to push this dude. And plus, especially since this guy is gonna most likely now fucking beat Lesnar. Then here's the fucking thing. I honestly don't believe that this guy should beat Lesnar clean if he's gonna fucking beat him. I don't think he should beat him in general. But you know what? If you're gonna try to fucking push this dude, because yes, we do need new stars. We do need that. But the thing is, I've been okay with it. If again, if you're pushing this guy long term, but the that the thing is, you have you ruined him somewhat. Um, if you fucking I sure. I just think, honestly, it's unbelievable if he just had him beat Lesnar. But the thing is, unless he does it like a low blow or something. But the thing is, I guess make it similar to how he fucking, how um, Rollins and Reigns beat Les Lesnar. Or fucking, that, or almost close to beat him. For example, back at WrestleMania 31, when Reigns was fucking facing Lesnar. 
You had fucking Lesnar, uh, like, fucking being a shadow, dude, and all of a sudden Reigns fucking took took the fucking pain. And fucking goddamn did so, put stupid men punches and spears, multiple spears and stupid man punches to just try to stop Lesnar. Maybe if you do something close to that, and I guess in a way cooler fashion, I guess. Because I, don't get me wrong, this guy, he, it looks more believable than fucking to, than Rollins last year to beat Lesnar. You know, okay? But if you actually do some cool shit with him, fucking, you know, I guess, oh, three Glasgow kicks and I guess multiple fucking future shot DDTs, I guess that'll be enough. But you, I don't think that, like, honestly, I don't think the guy should beat Lesnar. Because, like, if it was, let's say, if Reigns was champion, I would have been okay with McIntyre winning against, Matt and Les, like, fucking Reigns or something. But it's Lesnar for fuck's sakes. But, whatever. I guess, you know, just... I hope that he's actually doing something cool with this dude. Oh yeah, uh, actually have cool nicknames for the motherfucker. Not at, oh, he's the Dream Maker. That's what they're gonna call him now, the Dream Maker? Oh, he went from, oh, I went, I come from broken dreams. I make it for you. Like, oh yeah, follow your dreams, kids, or I'm gonna break, I break dreams, kids, now, God, I'm now I, 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 I'm a Dream Maker. He went from bro breaking dreams. I'll follow your dreams, kids. And like, are you kidding me? So he's become like Tommy Dreamer. I'll follow your dreams and shit. Fuck that. Are you kidding me? That's G rated. No. Oh, it's, he's chasing his dream, guys. Okay, yeah. Every fucking if every, every fucking wrestler ever, if they love wrestling, that's their fucking dream. Don't have him fucking become like these fucking weirdo fucking fans. Actually, have him be like stick to character, be a badass. Actually fucking coming with cool nicknames for the fucker. And actually fucking have legit a cool character for this dude. Not Don't have this character be a, he's a dream maker. And he's like, that's his nickname. Like, no, that's gay. Okay? Cool, like a cool nickname. Something to be known for that's cool. And just make him cool. Make him legit badass, you know? And then I'll like him more. And don't have him be boring. <laughs> You know, because let's be fucking honest, the guy was not entertaining beforehand. He was not entertaining in TNA. He went to TNA, he became the world champion, he was boring. You know what I mean? So, if you want to actually fucking, if for people like, you know, they claim that this guy is the fucking best we have, okay, you know what, fuck it. I don't, I'm not like, I'm not angry, I don't give a fuck, because life is not wrestling, but I just think he's not like this person that people think that he's good you know what i mean he's not like this good alternative but for god's sakes if you want to fucking push this guy and make this entertaining because this is the thing i do see some promise i think this guy is, is going to be better than kofi and rollins you know but actually fucking do shit with him to do and make him entertaining so that's what we have to say uh, hope like you know i will fucking explain more about my hundred reasons why mcintyre sucks for you because that's like all the fucking problems but like in this video this is basically to help this dude and help make sure there be a you gotta do fucking shit with this dude. You gotta make this entertaining. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, yeah. Hopefully this, you know, hopefully McIntyre, if he's gonna fucking... Because, yeah, we do need more new stars. And people don't want Reigns. Fucking do this. But the thing is, when you already ruined the guy technically, you gotta lose the jobbers. We'll see what happens, okay? Apparently, Debbie stocks went down. And I, I, I don't know. Apparently, like... If people say it, it's not McIntyre's fault, but like, you know, doesn't that say something? Like, usually when the Rumble wins, like, for example, back when the fucking Rumble, back in Rumble 2015, people hated Reigns and shit, right? But guess what? The stocks went up. Reigns was the winner. Now the stocks went down after the Rumble, and Drew McIntyre's the winner. Doesn't that kind of say something? I don't know. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I just hope, like, you know what? You gotta do something with this guy now, okay? You have him, like, now you're gonna have him, like, a fucking main eventer. Do some cool shit with the dude. Okay? That's what I have to say. I don't have to lose the jobbers. Alright, that's what I'm done gonna say. I'm just keep it real, motherfuckers. Gotta be muscles, gotta be abs, gotta be black hat, fucking be smoke catch, and drink soul and wine glass, and this is stylish glass, so magnificently. You know? Oh shit, oh shit. I fucking think, you know what? I can have him do funny shit like he fucking bitches me by couch. Have him more like Batista too. Fucking, you know, I don't know, so a wine glass or whatever the fuck. Or, you know, fucking bitches like fucking like Melina. Have him be like a ladies man, yay. That's fucking, you know, have him be like a fucking cool dude. And I'm telling you, he's gonna be a fucking badass. Have him fucking just make him more like a badass like the fucking old times, man. That's what we need now. Cheers. Like, I want to give this guy a chance. Like, like, what the problem is, like, when you already ruin a fucker, how should I give a fuck about this dude? 
You know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? So hopefully this helps the, you know, for people who keeps complaining that, oh, why you don't like McIntyre? Well, do shit with him, do some cool shit with him, and I'll, maybe I would start liking him. Okay? That, like, that's it. But the thing is, it has to be something, he has to be good, people. He cannot just be like, oh, he's the best option. No, he has to be legit good. Not that, oh. Oh, because everybody sucks, he's the best option. That's just retarded. That just means he's part of the problem. That's what I'm done gonna say, people. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.